The next step in solving the cube is a little bit different than what we've done the last couple videos. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and turn your cube how I have mine here and I want you to grab it. Hopefully you're right handed like I am. If not, you have to do it the other way. But instead of uh, continuing to build this portion, we're going to do a preemptive move uh, with some pieces so that we can solve them easily now versus uh, using a bunch of big algorithms at the end of the cube uh, to solve them. What we're going to focus on is fixing the edges of the cube from the two faces that are not completed. The two faces that aren't complete at this point are this yellow face and this orange face. Now notice I'm still holding on to that portion that we've already completed. If you look at the edges, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to identify good edges and we're going to identify bad edges. And remember, edges are these pieces here on this face and in this face. We're going to manipulate the bad edges of these two faces simply by moving these two faces and a very simple move that breaks this and puts it back into position. How do we know what's a bad edge? If I look at the top of this cube on this face here, this is the yellow face. We can tell by the center piece. I know that by looking at it, that because this face is orange and this is yellow, that this here is a bad piece because it's orange on yellow. A perfect example is this edge here where it's orange on yellow. And if you look right here, here's the yellow sticker and here's the orange sticker. To fix this edge, we ultimately need to take this edge piece and flip it so that it's yellow against yellow and then in reference to this uh, edge right here, it, it would be orange on orange, so then it would be flipped properly. Uh, how we flip edges properly is a very, very simple move. Um, before we get there, I just want to explain that because of the mathematics of the cube, we have a total of eight edges that we've got to be concerned about. But because of the mathematics of the cube, there's only going to be either two, four, or six bad edges that we've got to fix. The move we're going to do fixes two edges at a time. So when I'm looking at this first face, the yellow face, I automatically know just by looking at it, because orange is on yellow, that I have two bad edges right here. What I want to do is I want to take one of these bad edges. Remember, we're still holding the cube like this. I want to take one of these bad edges and I want to put it right here. So I'm going to flip this bad edge down and put it here. I want to take this other bad edge and I want to turn it so it's facing my hand. So now the two edges, the two bad edges that I want to fix are here and here. Now the move I'm going to do is simply, I'm going to turn, this is the piece we've been holding on to, I'm going to turn this portion here and I'm going to move that edge up to here, right here. I'm going to take the top and I'm going to take that bad edge that we have here, that we placed here, and I'm going to move it to here. After I've done that, I'm going to move this portion back to where it first started, and that's going to, com uh, again, complete this portion. But what I've done is I've fixed those two bad edges, the one that was here and here. We've flipped them by using that move, and now they are good edges. So now I'm going to look at the cube, and I'm going to find uh, other bad edges that I might have. So I'm going to look again at the top face, the yellow face, and I'm going to turn it, and Sure enough, here is a bad edge. The reason I know that is because the yellow's here and not here. All right, I'm going to turn the cube again over to the orange face. I'm going to look around, and I know that this is a bad edge because the orange is here and not here. So I need to do the same thing that I just did to the other two edges. This edge, this bad edge, is already in place. It's where I want one of the pieces to be, which is right by my hand. I'm going to take that other bad edge, which is back here. I'm simply going to bring it around. It's right here. Bring it around again. It's right here. Now my bad edges are in place for the move. One here and one here. I'm going to take the face. I'm going to bring it up. Moves that bad edge up. I'm going to turn the top. That brings this bad edge over. And then I'm going to replace this face to, again, complete this portion that we've already built. That move fixed those two bad edges. I'm going to look at the cube. And I know just by looking at it from experience and doing it so much that I now have all good edges. If you want to check to make sure, because you're not too familiar with the colors or what's a good edge and what's a bad edge at this point, 
simply move all your bad edges or oh, excuse me all your good edges up into place into the face that they belong the yellow face I'm going to find all my yellow pieces here's one here I'm going to move it up and I move it up and I look at my two faces my yellow and orange and all my yellows are up and all my oranges are up so my faces my edge pieces on my faces are fixed um, it might be a little bit confusing at this point um, but again it's simple moves there's no special algorithms I, we did a really easy uh, three set move to fix those edges once you get it to this point we're ready to move on to the next portion uh, again with a little bit of practice I, I recommend breaking the cube down and solving it uh, and get to this point just a couple times take the time to do it and you'll get proficient and eventually you'll be able to recognize these and recognize your good and bad edges uh, without much trouble